Sweaty balls or under boob sweat or both. My balls and boobs are sweaty. Let's go. Drake's spine, let's f***ing go! That was very aggressive. A lot of dead people! What the happened here? I dare not think. A stroke of good fortune, perhaps? I hope you're right. So do I. Oh god, a behemoth? Oh no. That's a behemoth. <laughs> I'd be mad enough to tame such a beast. Oh yay, a beefed up one! Can't wait! Oh, maybe not beefed up? What is he doing? Oh god, oh f*** you. Stay no! Back. No, 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 no. Oh god, that's terrifying. Hi, big boy! Yeah! Nice to meet ya! Shit. Oh, shit! Oh my god! Nope! Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Got a blast! What is happening? Whoa. Okay, Sephiroth, chill! Stand back! I'll conjure a ward! Oh no. Joshua. Oh my god. Poor baby. Let's go. That's not gonna work. Oh what my god. Desperate times. Clive, no. Trust me. I will shoot us, remember. Oh. Oh shit. That was not good. You guys probably can't see shit, can you? This might be a job for infinite! And why would you turn to him, brother? <sighs> oh god, Joshi, you better chill, bro. When we fight, we fight together. Oh hell yeah. Just, thank you for the raid! That was just the beginning. Alright, let's do this shit. Come on! No! Oh god. <gasps> I can't go on. Brother, no! Guys, that's that's the first game over. We're 84% through the game and I just gamed over for the first time? What is that shit? What was that? Wait, okay, so I need to avoid that attack at all costs. What the f***? Wow, there's not even any uh, game over music or anything. Very, very strange. Yeah, I gotta avoid that shit. Okay, so wait, it's starting me back. Shit. It looks like it's starting me back to the point where I died. I need to stay the f*** out of that storm, holy shit. Ah! <laughs> Okay. Get out of the way! <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Yo! Chill, bro! Oh my god. I almost died again! Damn, this guy's hitting hard! Extinction? Excuse me? Is that the movie did last time? Okay, Behemoth usually does that. <laughs> okay, is it always called Extinction? Behemoths usually use some like big boy attack right before they die. Let's go, bitch. Ruined my streak. I'm so mad. <laughs>
quickly. God damn it. We're cut off for good. Once we step onto that bridge, we'll be easy targets. Okay, who's to so say we're not already? Quickly. The hell, Josh? Torgal, you haven't been pet in a while, buddy. Can I give you some pets? Or is it is it not a good time? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Hello? Wait, what? Why? He's a fast boy, isn't he? Wow. Can you like chill, bro? Hi. Let's go, bitch. Can we go in the goddamn door now? Shit. Oh my god! Enough! No end to them. The whole bloody army's here. Stand back, Joshua. I'm summoning a freight. Stop, Clive. You mustn't. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. Then you'd rather die? What? What the hell? She can still use magic. She's not alone. <laughs> Surprised to see us. How did you? Gav. He told us exactly where you'd be. Even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall. And when that we saw doom. the heavens come crashing down. We had no choice but to believe him. <laughs> Good man, let's it's go. Been quite a day. Oh, <laughs> how sweet. Prince Dion, it's good to see you well. So, this must be Ifrit. Your uncle bade me give you a message. That's right. Okay, I remember now. Listen to your heart. It will guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. Thank you. For everything. Your Highness. Dion, please. No. You do realize you have freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? With your lord and ladyship, uh, Oof. quite finished. <laughs> Let's go. We have work to do. Oh, Goots was there too. Oh, well. The gang's all here. I don't suppose there's how I can say to make you change your mind. So I'll just tell you to stay safe. Oh. I won't take kindly to losing the best customer, especially <laughs> after letting us carry all this stuff all the way to Ash. And we wouldn't want to anger old man. You mean, you'll buy some of offers? None of this is new! What the f***? I want some new shit! 
Good god, Mid, what the hell? I just helped you build this ship and you're about to destroy it? The f Jill, can I have a smooch? Oh, that's Dion. Well, Dion, can I have a smooch? Kiss kiss. There is still much I would learn of your tale once this day is done. Until then, all who might come between me and such knowledge shall answer to my spear. I do not envy them. Gav, can I have a smooch? If Sid were here today, I reckon he'd be proud of you, Clive. Aww. He'd be proud of us all. I couldn't have made it this far without you, Torgal. Each parting brings the hope of reunion. I missed you, Clive. Oh. I missed you too. That was so sweet. What the hell? I don't like the way they're like making it seem like we're never gonna see any of them again after this. Joshy boy, it's time. See, Clive. We're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. We fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream. Our dream is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall. Together. Mark, hi! We all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate, and we shall face it together. I... I... Oh, come on. What the hell, man? Enough! Just open the goddamn door. Let's go. It seems our hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. Ew. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh my god, Torgal. No. No. Holy shit. Oh god. It's okay, Jill. It's okay. Oh god. Oh my god, Torgal, why would you jump in there, buddy? Oh god. If something happens to you, dude. Oh my god. Joshua. Josh? Joshua, wake up. Clive, is that you? No, it's... Jesus. This isn't stone here. Welcome to our darkness. Oh, f off. Just... A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. He shouldn't yourself. die! Grave and many are the sins of man. God, he's so scary. And we would have you know them. All of them. Alright, cool. Oh, God. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home. Consider this our welcoming gift. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. If I have to fight Typhon again, I'm gonna lose my mind. Ew! Oh god, he's so creepy! If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. Yet the price for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure. Endure, that we might discover 
a means of salvation. But if it was magic that caused the blight, what of the Mother Crystals? How is this not the end of the game? I expect he'll tell us soon enough. This is some, like, end of Final Fantasy bullshit. Okay, this music's pretty sick. Can we, like, run a little faster here, Clive? Like, the fate of the world depends on it? Let's go? My god! Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us. One beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. Ew, and don't so say we that. Cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow. Valisthea. There would the true work begin. For the black crept yet behind us, and soon did we arrive at a solution. The illness having spread to every organ, there was but one escape from this fate. To start afresh. Afresh. So fresh. With a new world. The one for which Barnabas labored. A paradise free from the blight where his god awaits, and where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. And now. You don't want to talk about fl No! Fleshy bodies? That sounds disgusting! Every Final Fantasy gets to this goddamn point where the freaky main villain starts doing this shit. Thanks! I f hate it! To forge a new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Can we not talk about your seed, bro? Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his god's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource. And the land, she wept tears of black. He would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth, that we're one and the same. I hate this shit! This is so weird. Oh god, thanks. This is giving me mega Final Fantasy IX vibes. 
Oh, no. He's dead. The freak. But what's left of him? Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Oh, oh, it's so creepy. Thalassia cannot endure a second claim upon her being. Please don't get any closer. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! Clive, can we not jump to conclusions? What? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Oh shit. Brother, I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. Okay. Oh, God. What the hell? Oh, you're not as scary. I can handle this. Okay, you're a little scary. Ooh! My friends. My family. We have all suffered. All fought to survive. This world may be flawed. It may be broken. But it's all we have. And if we can't share it... I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. Oh. This isn't your world anymore. I hate that hole in his stomach. Ew. It's us. Oh. Okay. Let's go, boys. This day. Get up, ya bitch! Ooh, ouchie! <laughs> Go, Clive! God damn it! What the f is that noise? Foul attained may not be sublimed through game standing. Only with heads hung low is penance paid. 
Oh, wretched mortals, incapable even of contrition. In fitting season shall we reap our harvest. You Don't attack my dog, you Alright, let's maybe close some of this gap. Gifted this chance. Okay. And still you <laughs> would raise your hand against the Lord. Oh f off. What now? The darkness bends. <gasps> To end us. Wait, 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 wait. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Yo, that looks like the f Yeah! Sorry, terrible time to pause. Let's go! Is Surrender the vessel unto the Ooh, Surrender yeah, it's gonna be very hard for you guys to see what's going on in this fight. Okay, and we're gonna die. Holy shit. Time to take shit very, very seriously. Get up! Oh, we're not close enough? Oh, okay, we are. Never mind. He looks like Diablo, so it's kind of cool. Okay. Uh. Oh my god, if you attack my dog again, it's over for you. Let's go! Eat my dick. I love what you said, Yench, about Ultima's hair looking like if Sephiroth shampooed with Vaseline. Very accurate. That can't be it, though, right? Like, it's Ultima. There's gotta be more. I'm lost. For countless generations have we awaited this moment. Yeah? Your struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. What? The f just happened. <gasps> what the hell? <gasps> Sid, oh god. Oh, Daddy. Oh, that's so sad. Tell me, Clive. How many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... These are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring, all they will ever bring, is death? There's no atoning, Clive. No matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. He looks high as fuck. Please, won't somebody save me? Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. All right, Genesis, calm down. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just go away. Clive! No! Little baby Josh. 
Yo, he looks so zonked. None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother. What? He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix, emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? <laughs> Oh, shit! Took that shit. Oh, okay. It is a deviation, and here from does Logos rise. Shits! Gotta go! Time to go! Brother! Right. Right. <laughs> Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave this place. How do we get out? Weren't we trapped? Little Torgal. And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logox, but we will put an end to this hubris. Do you ever die? What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken? <laughs> this... And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos. Soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. Oh my god. Okay. Holy dick. Alright, that was the last mother crystal. Now what? Do you not f***ing die? And so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. 
stirring those long a slumber to waking. What in and the back to their origin? song ooh okay so there's one giant mega crystal in the sky now bloody crystals cracked so where the hell are they is that ether what in good Grieger's name is going on this is wrong Back to the ship. Dion. I will be with you and none. Why? Thank you. Why? Thank God. I feel like it's kind of a common thing with, with Final Fantasy main villains where like their ultimate goal really doesn't make f***ing sense. It's basically just like, I just want to end humanity and okay, like cool, why though? <laughs> so I don't get it either. I don't know. Oh, holy shit, that was a lot y'all. Damn. So just ultimate want the whole world to be icons, I guess? There's only, what, nine of them? Eight of them? Some shit like that? Like, I know they're all like this, right, True? All of them. Every goddamn one. What is this f***ing freaky shit? Oh, I hate it. Humanity got a will, and he didn't like what they did with it, so he wants to end it to live in his own paradise alone. Yeah, it's got very Final Fantasy IX vibes to me. The- I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't played 9. Whatever. The game's been out since 1999. The end villain in 9 is very similar to Ultima in this, I feel like. Very similar ideas of what they want to happen. Can Joshua create life? Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about that because, I mean, he's the phoenix. And the phoenix is reborn every time it dies, right? So I've, like, been wondering, can Joshua even die? Like, but that wouldn't make sense because the icons have existed way before Joshua was born, so that wouldn't- that wouldn't make sense. Unless- unless the phoenix only transfers to the next person after the person who- I don't- I don't know. I don't know. Although if Freight didn't exist until Clive, right? Or he's always existed, but I don't know. There's a lot of questions. Hopefully we get answers, because I'm very confused about a lot of this shit now. Back to I their to origin. I what happened to Drake's spine. I'm going to need Otto's help. Yours is a fine family, Ifrit. He called Clive Ifrit? Oh my god. God, he's so weird. Look at this freak. We haven't had any side quests in a while. Normally, I would be really happy about that, but I guess we're just continuing. Shit. Hey guys, some shit hit the fan. Listen this, up. This, everyone.
Everybody matters, I guess. Oh, Uncle's here! As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Now the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Oh, shit. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records, but to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire. Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance, would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. When we faced him at stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the Halls of Origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. <laughs> Otto, what the f***? Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Maybe get laid? Shit. Can we get some ass? I think this boy deserves it. Shit. Upset. He did seem very upset. Unless you've taught our chocolate boys how to fly, I won't be scouting this one for you, Clive. You're on your own, but not alone. Can I just say Gav is best boy? Obviously, Sid is probably like top tier, but Gav is such a close second. There is much to consider. You couldn't have said that any slower, Dion. Holy shit. Wow, you can see it really well from the hideout. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place, where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, there may be. But a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, <laughs> it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. 
What better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. <laughs> I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? Such a badass. All right. I yield. <laughs> but only what you must, yes? I'm still your sworn shield. I'm so sweet. God damn it. Of my wings. Oh shit, Dion does too! I forgot! Just He's Bahamut! <laughs> we go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned I that love that he calls him the that. dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. Yeah. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both <laughs> might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? I was just about to say, I don't think Dion gives a f*** yo. My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Yeah. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. <laughs> he has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. Okay. So, what's the game plan? He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. Yeah. And has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to. Does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Clive, I have a feeling she's not gonna understand. Say your farewells, and let us be gone. Wait, so we're just... What? We're just going for it? Wait, I'm not trying to beat the game tonight. Come to wish on a star. Oh. That might not be such a bad idea. You know what I have to do. Why I have to do it. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end. For better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Gonna make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Side quest! Let's go! <laughs> what is it this time, Torgal? Don't say it like that, Clive! This boy literally requires nothing of us. I think we're allowed to f show him some attention every once in a while. God. Hey, we're doing something for Uncle. Unky Byron. You know what? I know I said Gav was top tier. Byron's pretty f daddy. Let's be real. Oh, Torgal. He looks so sad. I something, boy. He's sad. I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. Huh. From Sade, that's why. On the day, brought him home. Aww. How long ago? And you're only thinking to ask this now? Sid saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. What? Got that they're iron on him to keep him from doing it. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard in being a frost wolf. Torn away from his icons and all, Sid would always tell him, You want my iron gone? You find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what we were looking for was you. I'm sorry, Toggle. Sorry for making you wait so long. Let's get that thing off you. Oh no. Don't sound like he wants it off. <laughs> Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? You want me to go with you somewhere? Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. <laughs> Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. <laughs> Go on now. Where to then, Toggle? 
Why do I feel like this is gonna make me cry? Where are you taking me? I'm going to need a little bit more than that, boy. Do you have a better hint for me? Unless... You've already given me one. Back on the rear deck, you were looking west. Toward Rosaria. Why don't we try the rockery? I haven't been to the island in... Almost 20 years. To port is older then. Why is he the best? God! I will die for this boy! Oh wait, we're getting on a f***ing boat? Wait, what is happening? <laughs> Whatever, I'm not gonna ask questions. Still here, after all these years. Oh, this is the Torgal quest! More than I remember. And you're a lot bigger. You might have to swim, boy. No! He can fit! I wasn't being serious. Okay. This place hasn't changed at all. The rookery's right through those trees. Come on. Why is the music so sweet? Oh, God. Race you there. I bet I could still beat you. Ah. Wait, there's a tree house. Oh, God, I'm gonna scream. Why is this so goddamn sweet? I'm gonna cry. Here we are. This was our hideaway. Wasn't it, Toggle? Coming here helped me to forget who I was, or wasn't. Prince, Shield, son his mother could love, had I been any one of those things. Perhaps. What is it, boy? This is all from the castle. And Phoenix Gate did. You bring these here. Oh, his barring sword. Well, well. <laughs> you never stopped looking for me, did you, boy? Let's take this with us, shall we? So I don't forget either. Oh. <laughs> That's not the way back to the boat, Toggle. All right, all right. I'm coming. Oh, that was really sweet. <laughs> I think I know where we're going. Am I gonna cry some more? God damn it. People always talk about the importance of putting the past behind you. But without him, we wouldn't be who we are today. And we certainly couldn't steer our way to a better tomorrow. Come on, Toggle. Let's go home. That was very, very sweet. And we got the sparring sword for our, for our room. Torgal found that for him. Best boy. Best boy, Torgal. Sorry for the wait. We're ready. Now feel good, boy. <laughs> my crotch is eating my shorts! <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I won't talk about my crotch. <laughs> oh, is this gonna be sad? My beloved sons. This shall be an arduous inheritance. And so I offer you another, that you might be reminded of the love and the faith that I hold for both of you, your father. An inheritance? Your father entrusted them to my predecessor, the former bearer of the Burning Quill. The complete emancipation of bearers is their stated aim. His grace also spoke of building hospices to care for those stricken by the curse, and the founding of a new university to further the development of non-magical technologies. He wished to see men and bearers treated as equals. And to see centuries of common wisdom overturned. Small wonder he did not think it achievable within his lifetime. 
but he thought it achievable nonetheless. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. You have our gratitude for your service to our house and to our father. What exactly is the gift you bring? Matching armbands for you both. He had intended to claim the heartstone with which each armband was to be finished himself, but it was not to be. And his gifts remain incomplete. And while I would not presume to insist upon your claiming the heartstone in his stead, I know that nothing would have pleased him more than for you to do so. Thank you, Lady Godatha. What say you, Clive? What else? Of course, my lady. May our father's will be done. Yo, look at that f***ing griffin! Oh, I don't want to kill it. It's so pretty. It's for Papa. It's for Papa. All right, let's do it. Godatha. Hey, what's up, God? I brought the thing you're asking for. Let's go. We have a couple more things to do. Not too will. much. I mean, we've got a you know a couple side missions to do, but we'll tackle those and then we're gonna we're gonna beat the game. I'm not ready for it to be over. <sighs> we will try to breeze through them as quickly as we can the next time we load up. I know it's gonna be a great time. I love you all very, very much. Thank you so much for hanging out. It means the absolute world to me. And I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye, my loves. I will see you very soon.